Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post for Nem, where today I want to spend the majority of my time trying to roll out this level of dirt over this side, which sounds pretty boring, but don't worry, there are very many steps to take along that process, and there are also some other things that I wish to partake in, one of which, if we have a look inside the quest book and get inside this civilization quest, there are many, many animals that we can try and claim here. The ones that I really want to get started with right now are the sheep. If we head down, hang on, I just got to teleport over that way. Oh, I missed a little bit, but that's okay. If we head down here, you can see Twitch Yongi 5 is patiently waiting for me over here. He is holding this stuff for one sheep for me. Now, unfortunately, I don't quite have the stuff for another sheep, but we will get on with that in a second. I want to hand all this stuff in first. So, the first thing we need to do, get the quest book, select the task, and right-click that. You have bound bah, bah, to the quest, though, the, the QDS. I don't, know, I don't know why I did that. Oh, look, we got some uh, stone bricks. I wonder wonder where they came from. I must have put them in there at some point. Okay, so it's literally just a case of bomb, bomb, bomb. Have a look inside the book and you can watch it all ticking up as we speak. It's going to take a little uh, second or two because, you know, hoppers. Hoppers are slow. We could definitely do with some faster stuff like in vanilla Minecraft. Uh, I don't know. It's, I suppose dropper towers work just as well, but it could do with a an automatic thing something that you don't need to put that much redstone into so here is our first spawn sheep reward oh yeah there was also something else i wanted to grab off twitch Yongi 5 now i want to show you something else that i've been doing in between episodes you'll notice that i used a lot of wool uh in that that's because i have grown a lot of cotton this is this is what's going on here this is my little breeding cycle uh, we can probably go through what's happened as these two have mutated. You can see this one's mature and this one's mature. I have no idea what level these guys are at, and I'll explain why in a second. So we're going to take these and pop them over here. Uh, I really should stop the diagonal. So what's happened here is these are the original 5.5s five that I got from breeding... What was it? It was Barley and Daisy, the white... I don't have a white daisy out here. Let's pop that down there. Let's go get ourselves a daisy um, a daisy seed. I don't want to be dropping everything everywhere, but it seems to be what I'm going to do anyway. All right, fine. That is what we will do. Uh, high growth daisy seed, please. Just, just the one. Just the one. Of course, I always go and grab the lot. Still haven't quite figured out how those seed drawers work. Oh, man. Already? Already? Oh, you can't just trowel it. You need to actually full on rake it but there we go we'll pop that there so yeah it was the daisy and the barley mixed together to make the cotton here let's just tidy all this up so it's not going to turn on me and i wanted to carry on going back and forth and to increase the number of plants i was going to do this but then a little way through i was like well actually what i need is the actual cotton itself not the number of plants so if i just go around and collect all this whilst keeping the breeding going i'm bound bound to get enough cotton for what I need. So that's seven. That's not bad. Do that round. Sixty. Exactly what I need. So we can actually go back up. I've got a bit of cotton in my hand now. What's, what's that about? I want one of those. One of those. What happened to the protein? Oh, please don't say I've put in another 32. Oh, that, that would be very bad. I mean, you know, we can deal with it. Protein is not something that's super rare. Oh, thankfully, I just did not think to pick it up. Oh, oh well, that's that's that. I'm going to have to uh, try and get myself another one of those. But I will show you what I do with these in a second. So, t not going to cheat myself another spawn sheep egg in. Because, you know, a misclick is something that you have to live with. You've got to go through and do everything all over again, no matter how pressed for time you are. There we go. Let's do that. Okay, never happened. It never happened, people. Boom. Over at Paradise Farm, you can see we've been collecting a lot of meat. Uh, and we've also got enough pink slime here to grab a bucket of this stuff. Now, what are we going to do with this? Well, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it in a second. But first, I want to get one up here. 
And I think I'm going to open this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to open this one. You will see that we've got the same situation here as we had on the other side. Um, I would have liked to have actually put an extra trap door on there. But I'm going to spawn myself in two sheep. One there and one there. Okay, awesome. Now these should be getting triggered by the uh, breeder here. In fact... No? No, no no one getting some work done. Is that because sheep don't use this anymore? I'm not sure. I really thought that would have been within their range. Do you think maybe it's because that's the third block and this is a fifth, so that's no good? I don't know. Can we put upgrades in this? We cannot put upgrades in this. I'm not sure what's gone wrong. Well, anyway, I had uh, something else that I wanted to do here. You'll see inside here, I have got myself the recipe for a rancher uh, because I want to use it. I really do want to use it. The uh, It was all stuff that we have known how to craft before. I'm going to close this. The reason I've turned these into trapdoors is every now and then a cow will get thrown out, hit the glass and bounce over onto this ledge here. So I definitely want to uh, keep this clear if I can. Now, the thing I really want to see is whether I can do that. Mm, maybe not a, maybe not the best plan. I wanted to pop this on this side, actually. Let's try it on this side. Let's try it on this side. We put that there. Put this here. This is now facing the wrong way. And I do not have my wrench on me. Why don't I have my wrench on me? Okay, wrench fetched. We should be able to just turn this round like that. That's pretty good. Now, I'm hoping, again, that this is in range. We've got all this looking good. Um... I'm wanting the milk and the wool, if at all possible. If that is a thing that can happen here, I'm not sure. So there goes the milk. Is it going to fetch me... Do I need to put shears in it? Let's let's find out. I can, I can go and get shears. Shears are not a problem. Um, I was kind of expecting it just to work, though. I really was expecting it just to work. Hmm. It, it just doesn't seem right to me. I've got a feeling all of this is just one block too far back. But we'll put this in just in case. Yeah, no, I thought so. Okay, so I'm going to have to go off and do some research. And I will see you guys in a second. So I've managed to make it work somehow by putting it up to here. But this is pointing out a small issue that I, I actually do not know the answer to. If I was to come through here, say, okay. So we've got this one making power. Yeah, this is my Sterling generator. And I understand that it would pass power up to it. But how is it powering this block down here? Oh, we've got pink slime back it up, backing up again. This is a problem that we've got with this. For some reason, pink slime likes to back up in the system for no apparent reason whatsoever. But yeah, how is it powering that block down there? And, and just as important, how is it powering this block here? I keep teleporting myself around with this sword. I've got to take it out of my hand when I'm doing other things. But yeah, more importantly, how does it power this block here? How is this working? What's going on here? I don't know. I'm very confused, but I think it's pretty cool. It's not a max power. Maybe that's taken the power over from there. I still don't know how that bottom one's being powered, though. All right, should we go get some uh, energy conduit? That's probably the easiest way to take care of this. I, I think we're also going to want some item conduit. I'm not sure where we're going to have the output, but we know we're going to need to have it outputting somewhere. I reckon maybe four of these as well. I'm not 100% certain, but that's what's going to happen. Okay, let, let's try and figure this out. Ah, that's how that's powered. Okay, I obviously did that at some point. That's good. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy as long as everything works fine. Can I click on that and make that join? We can. Okay, is everything emptied out? Is everything doing what it should be doing? I think so now. I think so. So I'm going to connect this here, run that into there, and then up to that one. Okay, I love these multi-conduit things, being able to put like many many of the same conduit type on the same block. It's great. I love it. I love it. Uh, right, then we want to have an output for this, which is blatantly going to be that there. Did that, did that take it? I'm not sure if that took it. Uh, let's try taking it from the other side, because I can get a better angle on it. I can get a much better angle on it. Uh, like so. So we've got the item extract. Brilliant. Awesome. Oh okay, yeah, let's wander on through here and attach it to these ones as well. Uh, I'm tempted just to drop it there, but of course we're going to teleport here, so that's not the best plan. I suppose I could have done it with a single bit just like that, right? Uh, I'm going to disable this one. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, I am. And then I'm going to go get something from Twitch Yongi 5 if he's hopefully keeping hold of them for me. He's not. Okay, I must have put them over this way. I did. Awesome. Okay. There are a couple of places where you end up storing things. It's like, yeah, this is a placeholder and stuff like that. This is on extract. We don't want extract. We want uh, insert. I don't want anything coming out of this place. So where did the wool go? Oh, man. Okay, well, anyway, there are other problems that I wish to address right now. One of them being the fact that these guys can't eat at the moment. So I'm going to... I don't want to radius three. How do I radius one? Uh, there is a way of doing it. Oh, I've only got one dirt block on me anyway. So uh, we'll just do that. One grass block, sorry. And hopefully one of these guys can eat that underneath them. Either of you? Anytime now? I'd just like a small confirmation of this. No, no. Okay, well, fine. We, we will leave them, and if they come back and they've got wool, great. Uh, so one of the things I want to do, if I've, I've made this safari now. Now, I made this a uh, couple of episodes ago to try and solve the skeleton issue, which I still have not solved, by the way. It, it's not something that I've solved. Um, but... The only thing that's really awkward to make here is this Porter Spawner and, you know, Vibrant Alloy, Electrum and Atomic Alloys. All things that we have made before. So I'm going to keep this Safari Net on me. Also, this bucket of pink slime. Should we uh, step outside for a second? There's no way we want to do this inside our science room. I mean, that's just... That's disgusting. Uh, we'll do it past the uh, the fountain of spoilt milk. If we drop him there, no, I really thought that was going to be it. So it turns out, I mean, shocker, I'm just a little bit too impatient. So if I just leave that in the world for a little bit, the flow actually slows down the process a little bit. Oh, I'm meant to keep hold of that. And given, I don't know, a lot of time, this should form a pink slime for me. It doesn't seem to want to be doing it here. There we go. Brilliant. I will take you, buddy. So we've got him in this Safari Net reusable. You can see him there, pink slime, second one down. Now, if we go over to my spawning section, you can see there's a little box on the end that you guys don't really know much about. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Last time I did this, I had a jetpack. Maybe it's time to go make the jetpack, but let's get up there and see if I can't at least access the UI. Oh, that's terrible. Can I, can I have another go at that, please? You, you guys will let me have another go at this, right? There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Before I put that slab there, I could get all the way up to the top. Out. Go on. Be gone with you. Be gone with you. So, as I was saying, at the back there, whoop, we've got an auto spawner. Now, this is a machine that you have not seen me build. Let's, uh, let's have a look in here. Again, I was trying to... Spawner. I was trying to make this uh, so that I could spawn the skeletons. And whilst that does work great, in fact, let's have a quick look at the um, recipe. Look at these emeralds. That was expensive. That was, that was really, really expensive. Uh, it was for something that didn't actually work out. So there we go. Uh, I made this, put it back there. Now we're going to be making copies of the pink slime because that's what we want to do. But not only does this take power, oh yeah, we need some essence. I mean, like, I'm, I'm just like, what, essence? Where, where do you get essence from? Let's go down to the science room. In this one over here, I've made my... Oh, I'm making myself a grinder. You can see it's a, an ender sword, some books. The books were actually the hardest bit here. Relatively simple to make. We're going to br uh, bring this with us, and we're going to go replace that one right there, I think. Uh, let's take all the XPs. Those are all my XPs. Thank you. We're going to break that. Oh. Hey, are you so full that you can't actually take any more stuff? That That is the case. Let's do that. Let's do that. Just thinking what I actually want to keep and what I want to throw away. Got far, far too many ender pearls now. And a lot of this mob essence... Well, this isn't mob essence. This is distilled mob juice. Uh, can you let me through the door, please? Man, what was going on with that? So we want to run one of these out. Uh, I'm going to fill this up. Because we're going to put the grinder right there. Right there. Now, this has been filling up with liquids. Ah. Ah, ha, 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 ha. We're going to have to replace this. So let's break all this. What I want to do is dig it down one. Uh, because we're going to need a separate liquid line coming up for... In fact, I'm even going to go down one more as this appears to be where some of the pipes are coming. Yeah, we're going to need a separate li separate liquid line for the mob essence that we're going to be pulling out of it. Let's break this one as well and that should make everything all connecty. Uh, right click with the crescent hammer is how you connect these things together. Brilliant. Can I get out? I can't get out. Ah, typical. Let's make myself a little stairway here. That's probably what that 
that was there for. I need to go collect some conduit stuff, else this is not going to work properly. Or it would be if I actually had any energy conduit to talk about. I'm going to take these 14 fluid ducts, and somewhere should be a whole load of conduit there. Now, if I remember correctly... Conductive iron, yes, okay, we, we can do conductive iron. In fact, we can do maybe six conductive iron, because this is going to be one of the things that we're going to end up using a lot of, I have no doubt. Okay, 816, brilliant. I will carry on collecting all this stuff in my inventory, because, you know, I don't like emptying out my inventory until we have a serious cut. Okay, so we're going to have mob essence coming out of here and probably travelling directly up, because, you know, that's where all of the spawning boxes are now that i think about it this should oh no we're, we're going to go directly up this way and then join onto the line up there because this does do a little dog leg and then carry on up and that is definitely where we want this to get connected to but the next thing we need to do is bring this bit of power down if i could have that back please thank you bring this bit of power down and go into this one i think it's kind of the best way of doing it there we go we've got power so this grinder should now be energized and ready to go if we um, head back up to the top i think i'm gonna uh, miss the ladder that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna miss the ladder but i think i'm gonna turn the enderman spawner on because there's less waste drops to have to deal with basically uh the pigmen are all good but I don't really need to do it. Incidentally, the pigman was made trying to figure out the uh, the skeleton. I'll just, I'll just show you why I ended up making the pigman farm. Uh, if I take a broken spawner, it doesn't really matter which one it is. In fact, let's come over here and grab one of this one that I've got lots of, the pigman one. And I take this skeleton and we come over to the soul binder. Now, we should be able to put that in there and that in there. Click all those. <gasps> it's working, guys! It didn't work last time I did it. Oh, well. Okay, I'm just going to stand here and wait because skeletons, bones, is one of the things that I am so after. So, so after. So, yeah, we're, we're going to wait here and make this happen. In fact, we're not going to wait here and make this happen, but I am going to do a cut. Uh, I'm going to make all of this out here happen. Oh. After all that excitement, I think we are ready to go ahead and make this powered spawner as it needs any head that we could possibly pick, and we're going to make it a skeleton one. I've made a skeleton skull, so I'm going to take this over. I believe it goes in the anvil now. Let's just double check this. It costs 30, though. Oh, wait, this stuff doesn't hold on to all our equipment. I should have a good XP store down here, I hope. Not sure what I'm going to... Oh... Mm, okay, so we're going to have to try and find ourselves some more XPs. I know a lot of it is being made over at Paradise Farm. Hopefully every time these guys... Br Ooh. So has the breeder not been ticking over while we've been that distance away, but the slaughterhouse has? That is very interesting. Um, not particularly helpful, though. Look, he eats. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to go around and try and find myself some XP. So, just as you think everything's going really, really well, something else comes along to ruin your day. So, I was putting a trench in to connect the two power systems together. I thought that was something we should we should do. And then I found the old gravesite. You remember when I died randomly from um, radioactive poisoning? R remember that bit? That I died from radio radiation poisoning? Uh, I lost my... Lost my grave and I couldn't find it. And whilst digging out, it was right down there. And I thought, oh, great. We'll just open it up because, you know, what else? What could go wrong? And I started putting things up here. And then all of a sudden, I just up and died. And I think it's going to happen again. Should we try it? Oh, no. Okay. So this this is actually what I'm here for. Oh, this that was a little bit of an anticlimax. Because I'm actually in a second cheaty copy of my world at the moment. Because I was relatively sure that coming down here and getting stuff was going to kill me. And it turns out, no, it did not. Look at look at this trench. What is this? How is this? So when I get back into the real world, which will, I will be doing very, very shortly. This, this is something that I need to to address. Yeah, I really thought my death was like super imminent. Like, not, not just a little bit of death. Yeah, look, the, these are the ones that did it. Berkelium? I, I've never had that before. Or Californium, which we have run in before, into before, but never in these quantities. Got two sets of armor. I've got two sets of everything now. But I've got to get back to my real world and uh, basically just do what you have just seen. 
Alright guys, well I've sorted out this entire chest of stuff, taken what I want, left behind, maybe like this here should go into a into a grave of some description. We've got the three grave plates, obviously one of them, this one, has already got an actual grave for it over in the graveyard. But with our death, I don't think we're going to be able to do the powered spawner because obviously it takes 30 XP. And you might be wondering where I got these 20 levels of experience, given the fact that I have literally just died. So if we come in this way, uh -huh, you, can, you can almost hear what's happened already. I've been digging out a small area over here because I have been threatening that I want to do this uh, dirt machine. It's going to involve things like the chemical synthesizer and the chemical decomposer and of course things in here and twitch Joggy 5 actually has something else but the place i've been getting my experience from is these bad boys oh man i didn't really want two of these armored boys okay we're gonna have to deal with these the best we can now i find it's best to pull these guys this way as much as possible oh one of them just broke into the floor there because uh there's not so many uh silverfish hiding in the walls around here so the more we take care of it the further away from our place the less we have to clean up afterwards like there's a load of stuff going on just the other side of this wall uh, maybe if i just pump through there is that good enough it's not i know that there is another another room back there my uh my guns and weapon room so that might be a thing but yes okay let's uh let's pull a few things out we're gonna need a chemical synthesizer we're gonna need a chemical decomposer we're gonna need a whole load of these conduits some vines and something from twitch jong e5 Hey, dude. I've, I've not got him following me around because he jump, keeps jumping in the slaughter pit in the in Paradise Farm. So we've not been doing that. But he does have a harvester for me. The harvester we've obviously made before. Uh, everything working out right here? So uh, you may have noticed last time we were in here, there wasn't any cows in the pit. I actually ended up having to kill a few of them. The, the breeder obviously has a top number, like a max cap. Boom. So I, I have to kill some cows every now and then because not all of them get to escape. Over this side, you see we've got access to the power that we were cultivating there. And with the power of these vines, I think I'm going to put a hole like that. Put some vines up there. This might be a little bit high, actually. Let's do something like this. Okay, this is looking good. So these vines are going to drop down. I'd like to do it every couple of blocks. There might be a way of doing it... Uh, more compact now what i would want to do is something like this i'm not sure if that's going to be enough going on. i mean like how do we fill vines in this one um let's just pop down our harvest so this is a central block let's let's pop it down there that, that's not quite what i wanted can we turn it around we can't turn it around why oh there we go uh that way that's that's how i want it turned okay awesome so this is going to be selecting vines so we want this to come out of here and go up we're going to go end up going down a little bit here and that's going to be super dangerous because there are definitely silverfish in this floor somewhere that said here i am taking out the floor and it doesn't seem to have done anything untoward the reason i took out the floor was from the chemical decomposer and chemical synthesizer the only way you can get stuff out is via the bottom of the of the block here you have to put that down there now i would actually like to join these all up uh we're going to put all sorts of filters on here item filters which is something obviously that i completely forgot to grab but this will extract uh not extract uh vines it will pop them in the top over here, like this. We'll set this up to an insert. Uh, we're going to have to put a filter on, like I say. So in there, it will make silicon dioxide. That's great. Not silicon dioxide. It will make... <laughs> I, I apologize. Cellulose. Which we're then going to pull out of there and pop into this machine, along with some silicon dioxide, which we will be getting just from this spot over here. Uh, I have oodles of silicon dioxide i mean like, however much you want to take with us we're going to put this in a in a hopper the reason it's only going to be in a hopper is so i can't overstuff it the bottleneck is going to be the cellulose sorry for some reason the word cellulose keeps keeps losing me during this scene uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna have a bottleneck in the cellulose so we don't want to put too much silicon dioxide in at any one time uh let's run down this way i didn't make my Hang about, I will be back once I've made a whole f a few more things. 
Okay, so the key to this machine is whitelisting everything. So if I put one of these in here, we're just going to whitelist insert vines. That That is the important bit right there. Now, this will extract anything that comes past it. And then we want to whitelist this one over here. Click it. Click it well. Click it with a shift. Uh, we want to insert. We're going to whitelist this. This is going to be cellulose. And silicon dioxide, obviously, because we need those two things to be working to get the dirt. It is as simple as that. It really is as simple as that. This side is literally just decomposing that down. Let's uh, let's run some power across. We're going to put these on the top here. Uh, we'll need one for the harvester, of course. And then just run straight over. If I can do it like this. Brilliant. Wonderful. Wonderful. Just a little bit that I forgot to do. We do, of course, need to extract actual um, dirt out of this. Now, I'm not sure where we're going to put it. We'll have it uh, always active is what I actually want to go there. Not active without a signal. Uh, and it can literally just pump into a chest. Do I have a chest? I do not have a chest. Let's steal this one here, which should hopefully be empty now. Uh, we want to put this one up front. We also want to put one on the other side that is responsible for the silicon dioxide. But it is, it's, it's getting ready to go, isn't it? It's getting ready to go. I'm going to pop this here. May or may not interfere with the main plans of what's going on, but that's totally fine. There, there, and there. Okay, so we want to disable this one completely and have this one as an insert whitelist hopefully in here there will be a bit of dirt no are there are any dirts in here we can make some dirt that is a good th oh it's pumped it out has it pumped it straight to here it has look already the machine works guys the machine works all we need to do now is try and figure out a more appropriate way of putting down these vines but there is one thing that i want to do before we wrap up completely here if we go over to the bees oh it's late it's late it's late that's that's fine though is it fine i don't, I don't see anything around Okay, so back here you'll see that we have Unweary, I'm going to steal an Unweary drone, and we also have these Tolerance. But over in the working hive box thing over here, I've been working on more Tolerance, so I'm going to grab the Tolerant Queen. Yeah, I know, I know, we shouldn't really be stealing Queens. Hey, what are you doing over there? Let's pop the Tolerant Queen, it's not taking it, why is it not taking it? It is of course because she's a Queen, not a Princess, hang about... So as I was saying, if I take the Tolerant Princess, oh yes, the Princess, and mix it with the Unweary Drone, we should hopefully get a beautiful combination here. We are, of course, working towards Lapis Bees. Why, why Lapis? Because I'm fed up of putting Lazarite together when I want to make a transistor. Is it a transistor or a uh, capacitor? Something like that. Something is very important. Uh, some. Something Lapis is very important for, and I want to get the Lapis. So we're going to take these Tolerant Drones up. We're going to let this Robust Queen just kind of tick over a little bit. I'm going to use the Automation Upgrade to make sure. Should we go and check out the final stages of... Anyway, there's Paradise Farm, of our dirt machine. Now, hopefully, things are getting grown in here. Yeah, so th the vines are starting to get close, but we can simulate this. We can simulate this. We can see we've got 12 bits of dirt. Let's put a vine down on front here. So that breaks. We saw that go through. It did a thing. Uh, a thing has probably happened here. And here we go, 18. Look at that. One vine gives us... Uh, Two bits of dirt. That, that is amazing. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. It's been a little bit here and there. We were started off doing one thing, then got excited about something else, and then ended up doing this one thing again. Woo. So uh, I will see you next time. Well, we're going to make this place look a little bit more pretty, maybe tidy up some wiring, things like that. Try and get that skeleton spawner going, because, you know, we're at 21 levels. 30, 30 can't be too far away. Uh, and we're going to get the pink slime sorted. So I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!